Hello, welcome back friends. We are back again with Simple Vedic Astrology by Professor Arjun Chakraborty from Kolkata, Eastern India. Friends, many of you already know me, some of you have already seen a few of my videos before today. Uh, today I am going to talk about a slightly advanced thing for those who are dealing with Vedic Astrology for some years. Today we are going to know why we need to learn Prashna, Horari or Question Astrology. What is the requirement of it? Why do we need it? Sometimes one may look at the birth horoscope and may be able to say a lot of things. Sometimes one may look at the palm, look at the face, may be able to say a lot of correct things. But still, I strongly believe that it is important for each of us to learn Question Astrology, which is often called Horari, and in India it is called Prashna Jyotish. Now, you have an idea what is Question Astrology. So, why do we need to learn this? What are the advantages? Let us talk about that. Firstly, I must say that when somebody cannot tell the birth time, or in India quite often many people are unable to say the birth date or the birth year also, in such cases to answer their questions correctly, a question horoscope has to be directed in a proper way. I will talk about the proper ways in later videos. Anyway, a question horoscope has to be prepared and based on that, very correct predictions, very correct guidelines can be prepared for that person. So this is the first and the most common reason that is absence of correct birth data. Now, the second point. The second point is there are some specific questions which can be very complicated. Now, as an astrologer, you may look at the birth horoscope, maybe you have the correct date, time, everything you have, but still you are not being able to come to a decision with certainty. You are kind of in a hesitation whether to say yes or no, whether to give a green signal to the client or whether to give a red signal. Then, of course, to be sure of yourself, you can use the question horoscope in spite of having a birth horoscope in front of you. So the question horoscope secondly can be used to be confirmed about your decision, about your predictions. The third point I must say, it is also very important to say that uh, when uh, a person asks a very specific question, a very specific question, for example, I want to buy a particular residence, a particular house, or will I get married to a particular person? I think it's very difficult to be answered from the birth horoscope. It's almost impossible. For example, looking at the current looking at, at the current time, you can say that yes, the time is right for you to buy a real estate. Maybe you can say the time is right to for you to buy a flat or a house, whatever. But if the person says, I like to buy an exact one flat which I prefer, will it be possible? Or if somebody asks several questions about several businesses, several companies, several partners, then looking at the birth horoscope answering can be quite difficult to answer all those specific different questions separately. So you must learn and use the question horoscope or Prashna Jyotish. Number four. Number four is for birth time rectification. When you are rectifying a birth time, which I am often doing in Europe, in India, so in that case, the question is when I was born or what is my birth time. So based on that question for school, you can rectify the birth time. Number five, another important reason is here. Now you see what is the birth horoscope or what is the natal chart. The natal chart actually says what kind of karmic assets you are born with. What kind of karmic assets you have brought along with you in this life, in this incarnation. But after that, you are doing a lot of activities in this life also. Maybe you are doing a lot of pious deeds. Maybe you are doing a lot of uh, indisciplined deeds. Maybe you are doing a lot of spiritual works, a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, remedial measures you are performing. So if they are working for you, or whether they are making the situation worse for you, being lazy or being extra energetic is helping you, so all these things, when the person grows up, the person is 30, 40 years old, you can check with a question horoscope that if 
the indications in the birth horoscope have been to some extent altered or modified or there has been no change. Now, in the text Uttar Kalamrita, it is said that a birth horoscope and a question horoscope are equally valid. But in Prashna Marga, it is said that if they are showing different indications, please go by the question horoscope or the Prashna horoscope. Because the question horoscope is actually showing you even the up-to-date results of deeds of this life, not just the previous incarnations, which has given you the Pranatha Karma or the Sanjita Karma. So, uh, in the next videos, I will show you how to use uh, a question horoscope, how to erect a question horoscope, when to use the time, when to use numbers, and aspects like that. But today, I hope you understand why you need to learn question horoscope or Prashna Jyotish. So, see you next time. I will look forward to meeting you. Thank you.